Can we go to the police station here and, and check everything? On October 12, 2023, it's our wedding day. It's supposed to be a happy day for me and my fiancé. Everything happened suddenly in just one day. We're all very excited for the wedding. Me and my fiancé are so excited to be a husband and wife. Are you ready today? Huh? Are you ready today? I'm asking you. And suddenly, on the day and time of our wedding, on October 12 at 3 p.m., more than five police officers was waiting for me and my fiance in front of the civil office to arrest me. They stopped us and they said we're not allowed to get married and went straight to the police station wearing my wedding gown. We didn't know that they are police because they are just sitting there somewhere outside the civil office wearing a normal clothes. They're not even wearing a uniform. So what shocked me the most is that they're already holding my documents that the civil office required us to prepare. Ever since I was still in the Philippines, they gave us a list of requirements. When we arrived at the police station, I was wearing my wedding gown as well as my fiancé. They were asking for my passport because they said they just need to check it and also they need to make a copy. So I just give it to them because I know they're gonna give it back anyway after, so why not? After that, they gave me some papers to sign that it's stating that I am arrested and that there's something wrong with my visa. When we arrived there in that place, they told me to take off all of my clothes everything to check on me it was very uncomfortable i still felt shocked confused sad annoyed mad and got traumatized in the spot it's like a mixed emotion that i feel like i'm gonna have a heart attack because i was not expecting that in the first place they clearly just told us that someone wants to talk to us but why is this happening they took my phone as well and put me in a cell where they usually put prisoners i just started to think and ask myself am i a criminal what did i do did i just kill someone i didn't expect to experience this in my whole life not even in my wildest dream to happen but not just that they even put my fiance in a cold dark room he said he felt so cold but can't do anything because they will not let him out until they want to but even though he's there alone he's so worried about me because we got separated in a strange place after a long time they interrogated me and my fiance for almost five hours we started around 6 45 and we finished around 10 p.m we also have a translator and he was also shocked for what happened it was his first case he ever encountered in his whole life that interrogator asked us questions many times and i answered him the same answer honestly I was thinking we're gonna say something different, that's why he asked us same question again and again to confuse both of us. To think that everyone's congratulating us and excited for us makes me even more sad. I don't know how to explain everything that happened. I don't know how to explain it to my family and friends. I'm all alone here in a foreign country. I have no one to talk but my fiance. I have not done any bad things in my country. I just can't believe this is happening to me. I'm even scared to talk to anyone and ask for help because I'm scared of judgment. I recorded some video because I'm planning to vlog on our special day. And here's the video of our happy moments from how excited we are to having the nightmare and unforgettable moment of our life. Hi guys, it's It's already... Are you excited? <laughs> are you excited? <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. We're yeah. gonna be wearing this hat later. Yay! <laughs> come on, come on. We need to shave this again later. Are you excited? Oh, I'm excited. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm come, ready. On, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, my handsome groom. We're gonna. Your last breakfast being single. Oh. Enjoy your breakfast. Well, I'm gonna have to leave. You're gonna have to leave. Oh, playing on our wedding! Gosh! You're so excited, huh? I'm excited! Huh? Okay. Amazing! Is this my hair, okay? It's so beautiful, I like it. No, but this, is, this side is not curls, okay? It is, it's good. No, it's not. You can see in the video. The future bright, just laying down. We're not getting ready. Why is there? I'm gonna sleep. You'll be sleeping, bright. Okay, let's get married tomorrow. Hmm? Let's get okay, let's get married tomorrow. No, no, I'm getting married. 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 I'm getting married.
our bride is getting married. You are gonna be the bride. Oh, oh, he's gonna do it. Wait, no! He's fully right. Oh, there's a mosquito, mosquito, mosquito! Protect me. Okay, 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 wait, no. Oh, it's, oh, it's pulling my head. <laughs> you may kiss the broom. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna no. Okay, okay, this is. You are the broom. Oh, I'm broom. That's the new, new rule. Eventually, eventually. Yes. <laughs> yes. Would you accept Cindy Jane Gallardino to be your faithful wife? Okay, you may kiss the broom. Big night. Big night. Bicicolo è messo sicuro. Can you go to the police station here in Bar? Check everything. Uh, I have my uh, copy from the papers. Uh, they call uh, the, the man from the uh, office here mm -hmm. and, and maybe it's possible. I don't know. But I have, I have to uh, okay. you check, you check okay. everything. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you, you find some you find some police yeah. yeah, 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 okay? Yeah, yeah. okay. okay. With iPhone, so okay. Okay. Uh, you have your passport with you? I don't have my passport with you. We can go and yeah. Yeah. please, okay? okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. Is to the civil office? We're going to the police station. Amazing. Yeah, we're here in the police station on our wedding day, huh? Okay, it's so windy. Everything is happening when they're in the station. 
Siapa tuh? Kita only know we should not have done that. We will get a lawyer by next week. I only have four weeks to stay here, even though maybe size father until December. He or who think that this is the only life for my family and my friends doesn't know yet. So we're not going to get any more to explain it to them. The interrogator, they interrogate me for almost five hours, and they will not accept any of my explanation because they treat me like a criminal. Well, I don't know what they did to you. They canceled my visa. We just want to get married in peace. They took my passport and won't give me back until I make an appeal within four weeks. They said they will send us a paper when we get back home stating the reasons why they are deporting me. They said since October 12, 2023, my visa is already cancelled even though I have a valid visa until December and that I am illegal to stay in this country since that day and that I only have four weeks to stay and we should make an appeal when we receive the papers from them. We waited every single day for that papers so we can make an appeal but there's nothing until it's already four weeks we received the papers on the fourth week they just obviously doesn't want us to make an appeal and they just really want to deport me for sending me a paper on the fourth week little did they know we already got a lawyer and my lawyer did everything that she could to get my passport back she made an appeal but they declined it and there you go, I was a cry baby again. I was crying non-stop when we received a letter stating that it was declined. I just don't know what to do. I just want to simply die in the corner. When I was a teenage girl, I was so inspired with those girls who have an afam husband. Because I'm Engatera, I started a dream to have an afam husband too. I prayed for it, to be able to meet the man of my dreams. And to have a white themed wedding with the snow. And then one day, on November 3, 2023, Snowing, it's so early, I don't like it. I like it. Look, it's snowing. It's snowing. You just woke up. Which one should I wear? You need some because you can wear socks too. So I will be wearing this. I already put a nipple tape on it, so I will not slide in the snow. That is nipple tape. Wow, that's nipple. Yeah. Nipple for me. Damn, can't look so ugly. Fuck, look, crap. <laughs> oh that's my god, so your feet is so hairy. <laughs> my love. Woohoo. Oh my god. What's wrong? <laughs> that thing is so ugly. He doesn't like this. Oh, I don't like it. It's cold. Did I untie my tie or what? No, I didn't. It's okay. It's still like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's still cool. intact. What? <laughs> You're so far. No! You're gonna run behind. <laughs> In the you already saw me, like, so I know I'm really, surely know I'm really, you know? You want me to get married with your picture? <laughs> Am I not obsessed with you? <gasps> oh, freak. It is snowing and raining. It's mixing together. Love it from now on. <laughs> <laughs> 
go, 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 fast while it's raining. waiting for us. This side. I ask you, Ivan Sulevich, are you ready and willing to take the bride next to you, Miss Cindy Jane Bellamina Laguio, as your lawfully married wife? If so, please answer again with yes. Yes, I do. I ask you, Cindy Jane Bellamino Laguio, are you ready and willing to take the groom next to you? Mr. Ivan Sulevich, as your lawfully married husband, if so, please answer with yes. Yes. <laughs> it's always gonna sleep with the music. You okay? Mm -hmm. I'm okay. I'm okay. Anna? You want me to throw it? It's raining. Let's go, let's go. No more pictures. No it's more not pictures. <laughs> <laughs> crying at the same time. Mom. She saw my ring and you know? Smile! <laughs> She's crying. <laughs> she can't believe that you're married now. Volente. I love you. Hi, Mom. Hi. 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 Huh? Donna's friends are buddy. Daughter in law. Hi, daughter in law. <laughs> 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 I'm sure. Bala. <laughs> Cheers! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's gonna want, she's gonna clean it very well. <laughs> what? Cindy Julievich. Oh? Cindy Julievich. Cindy Julievich. Cindy Julievich. I eat no yellow. Finally, we got married after a month, but despite all of that, there's still a big problem to be solved. This is not a happy ending yet. We were able to get married, but the case is not done yet. It's gonna be a long process. We just still can't be fully happy thinking about it. After two months, we receive a mail stating that we need to attend the court hearing. We are so scared because it's gonna be our first time to be in the court. Because, you know, we only saw this in the movies. Now it's happening in reality. We have no choice because we both want to finish this already. I celebrated my Christmas and New Year in this country for the first time with my husband. It was nice and I love it. I'm trying to be happy. But after all of these things, I still can't get over about what happened to us. It's very traumatizing and depressing. Fast forward, it's the day of our court hearing on 2024. We attended on time from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. inside a court. Good morning. Good morning. And it's 8 a.m. Yes. And it's winter. And we're going. We're going. And we're going to the court. The court? Yeah, I'm so nervous. No. 
But first, we're gonna find something. Mm. <laughs> See this, you later. This might be my last day, so you have to be nice to me. Monday. Don't say that, okay? Okay, go poop. <laughs> go poop. Today is January 17 and we're going to the court. Uh, uh, she's here, but I told her we're gonna be okay. We didn't need to go. Yeah. Yeah. Bless you. Come on. For the taxi to go to the court, mm -hmm. huh? I think it's very consumer. You should call it already. Mm -hmm. Did you see? Yeah, yeah. That's a smile. Maybe I'm nervous. Morgan. Morgan. After four hours inside the court, now we're waiting outside for the result, hoping for positive. Finally, it's done, and I just want to cry with so much happiness. I just hugged my lawyer, and I'm so much grateful and super thankful for her great efforts to win my case. <laughs> <laughs> this is my lawyer. She's the best of the best. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you so much. And this is Mr. Ken. We go to the bank because then it's easy. For a restaurant, but we're kind of lost. I don't know where we're going. I am uh, finally found a restaurant, and it's Italian. Look, there's best food grill. <laughs> we are still deciding where to eat in Italian or in Asian. I know. Best, best food grill. We're going there. Yeah. Instead of Italian. So, sir, can talaga o? Best food grill. Best food. It doesn't look good. Yeah. It doesn't look good. Oh my. Let's go and get food. <laughs> Let's go to the Italian instead. You would like that. Oh. For the blind people. I'm gonna try to close my eyes and you're gonna hold my hand. And actually, when there's a blind people trying to cross the road, it's gonna be toot 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 like that. I'm closing my eyes. Oh. Ayan, nandito na po kami. Ito na talaga yung final decision. Kasi sa labas pa lang ng restaurant kami na hindi na tao maganda. Kasi talaga bongga. I don't know anymore. Basta, I'm hungry. Oh, it's really nice inside. It looks so fancy. Wow. So fancy. Kondo. Cheers! Cheers for winning the Yay. case. <laughs> Against the foreign police. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hmm? Actually, that's okay. good news for your community. It's a Okay. 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 Don't touch it yet. Okay. 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 And if ever you want to translate your papers, you or can some just legal questions, <laughs> everything. Yeah, yeah. You know everything. Thank you so much. Yes, sir, yeah, man. Thank you. Ibane. Too guapo. Nasa train na kami. Uwi na kami ng bahay. After all the traumatizing experience and painful experience for us just to get married, it's not easy. But this is just the biggest lesson for us. Literally, dumaan kami sa butas ng karayo. What happened to me and to my husband was a rare case. I've heard from my embassy that this has never happened before. You know, getting arrested on your wedding day, going to the police station wearing your wedding gown, and facing deportation on the spot on your wedding day. I am just posting this for awareness. What happened to me should be the first and the last. I wouldn't want this to happen to anyone. I don't want anyone to experience what I've experienced. I just trusted too much about the information that I received from others who got married in this country too. The lesson learned there is that what happened to others might not happen to you. That's why make your own research or just get the legal advices or just get a lawyer. It's okay if you're gonna pay a big amount of money. At least you're not gonna experience what I've experienced. We have enough proof and evidence that we showed in the court. What those people did to me and to my fiancé was a sabotage and is illegal according to the court. Well, that's it. We won the case and now we can finally breathe properly. Mm -hmm.